see, without Alexander, they don't have the courage to later on pull off the slave trade. You see what I'm saying? When the Moors went into Spain for them 700 years, they got them together and raised them up to a living perpendicular again. You see what I'm saying? And then the Arabs had Greek history. So when they went back and read that, it became that symbol. You see what I'm saying? And when he conquered, every uh, white man that came after him could always look at that as a symbol. Without uh, Alexander the Great, wouldn't be no slave trade, more than likely. It might have it might have still would have happened, but it wouldn't be in the capacity that was in. They wouldn't have never had the courage to go do that. Without Alexander, he the first white man to go to Africa and truly do something. Because any other way, they would get slaves. You see what I'm saying? The newbies. You see what I'm saying? But um, Alexander, the greatest white man to ever live. I had to come back to it, family. Alexander, the greatest white man to ever live. That's facts. And when you look at Alexander, right? And like I was talking about Napoleon and all of uh, Hitler and all them, they all admire Alexander. And why? Because of what he did. See, without Alexander, North Africa would still be black people. Without Alexander, it the diaspora wouldn't be so massive. The stolen children wouldn't have been as many, or it might have would have never happened. Now, it was coming anyway. Cause the, that's why when they went to a lot of the villages later on, the Africans remember when Alexander came into Egypt. You see, and they had to flee. So when they came to a lot of those villages in the 1300s and 1400s, a lot of them was with nobody there. Wasn't nobody there, fam. Wasn't nobody there. Because they already knew that they was coming. Now it's been a prophecy. And you can go, and I bring it, it's in the Hermetica. And it says, to who he is talking to M Hotel. And he's telling them, telling M Hotel, that someday the Nile will fall. And the the, the the civilization which is beautiful now will be in ruins the people will be taken away on ships and in chains into a land unknown they will not even know and remember uh this greatness you know or the Nile. and he's telling to who he is telling him hotel this and he cried bawling he said that um to who he was telling him hotel say we were uh wouldn't remember our language. The people uh, of the Nile wouldn't even remember that they was from the Nile. They would speak a conqueror's language. They would uh, be in a, a conqueror's land. And it's been a, that prophecy been there for 5,000 years, family. May, probably longer. You see what I'm saying? Because that denial is older than what they're saying. See what I'm saying? But with Alexander, See, he what he wanted to he wanted to be, you know, he wanted knowledge too. So he forced those priests to take him through the temples, even though when you do deep into the research, the priests wouldn't teach him everything. You see what I'm wouldn't he would teach him wrong on purpose. How do I know that? Now the if you look later on at the Roman, and now the Roman word the early Romans, which ain't nothing, but the Greeks and the Romans is the same people, man. You see what I'm saying? They use those names to keep time, timelines and all that, chronology. But anyway, um, when, 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 you know, you, you, he, 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 he conquers, you see what I'm saying? I'm going to get back to what I was just saying. But when he conquers, he, he you know, the word, you know, that they were teaching the word uh ka in the Roman is land. Feel what I'm saying now? But the Egyptian, the African word for land is ta. It's not ka. You see what I'm saying? It's not ta. I mean not ka. It's ta. Ka is it is uh it means rise, spirit, rise. Ka means the rise. You see what I'm saying? That's what the that's what Kai means. 
but he didn't they didn't teach them that they taught the greco romans <laughs> ka meant land but land in the uh now valley language is ta see what i'm saying so they will eat and then if you go look at the chanoos or the uh 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 uh, little name plates over there uh, in the uh, Valley of the Kings. You will see they didn't write their name in the Chanu. They didn't write their name in the uh, what they what the uh, the, the archaeologists call it. What the archaeologists call it? Um, cartouche, cartouche. You see, cartouche. They didn't write their names in those cartouches. And the Greco Romans didn't even know that your name was for any of their education to be valid. When you get a diploma, what is it? Your name at the bottom. So none of the information that they even taught them was even valid. But as you see, they took over the world with that. With some inaccurate information. So if with the real information, imagine what we could do. You see what I'm saying? That's why I did the uh the uh uh we the super hey rule and we're gonna go back to the super hey rule and i'm gonna explain it deeper but that's why i don't see if, if, if they conquer if go look at the uh documentary the secret and when it's first coming on you will see the great old romans going to grab uh y'all call it the emerald tablet going to grab the uh, the uh book of life and he going there he grabbed the tablet the secret the hermetica the hermetica the book of tahuti the book of thought and when you see the secret came out of that book, the law of attraction, uh, what's the uh the seven, seven of them, uh, 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 uh vibrations, uh, uh, vi vibes and vibrations, the law of polarity, all of them. You see what I'm saying? Opposites. You see what I'm saying? And that was the secret. But see, without Alexander conquering, which is the greatest white man ever. They wouldn't have never been able to. That's what they showing you. The great old Romans going in there and getting those tablets. And they was getting more than that. You see, with gold too. But they got that that just that one tablet. And there's many tablets of stone. You see what I'm saying? And books and, you know, papyruses. You see? With a lot of uh, 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 alchemical sacred esoterical information that, that 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 like i said they take those papyruses and study them for for 20 years and never show it to the public but anyway alexander the greek we're gonna stop saying great alexander the greek is the greatest white man to ever live family without that there will never there would not be a transatlantic slave trade at least to the capacity where you got millions and millions and millions and millions of stolen people out their homeland. It still was going, it was in prophecy anyway. But even uh, the ancient Africans couldn't imagine it being, even though they was accurate all the way through of what happened to us before it even happened to us. So we knew they was coming. You see what I'm saying? But they didn't even think that it would be on the level that it was, where it was millions upon millions upon millions upon millions. You me, you me tell you who knew? You me tell you who knew? Shaka Zulu. That's exactly who knew. He knew. He knew Queen Nzinga. She knew. She knew. And we'll get into them. You know, the African revolutionaries on the continent, y'all. I just want look it up the greatest white man that started all of this alexander the great Japao.